Welcome to Fresh Park. How to construct your fun box and manual pad fresh out of the box. Comes with two main panels, one coping, four knobs, four short bolts, and three long bolts. Four extra J bolts and the tools required to install it. Comes with four short legs and four long legs. We will first set the coping curved side out. We will lay the fresh park panels closest to the coping and take our four short bolts, washers and nuts, and lay them in the panel closest to the coping. We'll then take our three long bolts for the hinges and set them in the panel as well. We'll store our J bolts on the side. We'll then take our turn knobs for the legs and insert them in the sleeves. Just slightly turn these to store them for now. We will use those to apply the legs later in the segment. We'll take our long legs and short legs off the panel and we'll set these aside for use later. And we'll set our tools in the panel as well. Taking the second panel with the fresh park facing out, furthest away from the other screen print fresh park, we want to make sure that the ends line up flush. It is possible for these to be laid out incorrectly, so make sure that you have those lined up properly. We will take our four short bolts using one washer on the inside of the short bolt and one washer on the outside. We will apply our coping. Now take note, you can set the coping up the reverse of this so that the curved part sits on top of the face of the ramp. We have it set up this way so that when you attach it to another ramp, the coping is on the outside and can be properly used. We'll finish up our fourth short bolt here. We'll finger tighten all of these and come back to them with the tools later. From there we'll take our longer bolts through the hinges. We want a washer on the inside and a washer on the outside of each of these and we will finger tighten the lock nut at each connecting point. Moving to the center hinge Again, one washer on the inside. We'll slide the bolt through each side of the hinges. One washer on the outside. And the locking nut is finger tightened. Next, We'll take our other two knobs, insert them into the sleeves, just finger tighten a couple screws in. One on each side, there are four total. We'll take our supplied Allen key and wrench. We will tighten the coping bolts first. The coping bolts do not need to be over tightened. We leave these a little bit loose in order to allow some adjustability when we apply them to another ramp. We'll go down the line and tighten each one of these, again so they're snug but not over tight. And again, you can put the coping on either way if you're just using a ramp by itself. We'll move to our center bolts, the hinge bolts. We will tighten these so that they are snug. Do not over tighten them as it will cause the hinges to bind and you will not be able to fold the ramp for storage. Next, we'll decide which legs we want to use, the manual pad or the fun box legs. In this example, we use the longer fun box legs. Insert each leg into the sleeves there is no incorrect way to do this. It, all four sides are the same. We will tighten the knobs so that they are snug but not over tight and do not use any tools on the knobs. This is hand tighten only. We'll finish up the four side here with a close up shot. Tighten the knob so that it is firm. From there, we'll flip the ramp over and it is ready to skate.
For more tips and advice on how to connect your other ramps to the fun box or connect fun boxes side to side and the manual pads, visit freshpark.com.